Welcome back again, everyone. We're going to do night two of our, what I think is going to be an amphibian week, we'll say. Depends on how well they cooperate and who makes themselves seen to me when I go to get them. We almost had a little bit of difficulty finding our visitor today. He was really, really well camouflaged, but we eventually found him with a little teamwork. So we are going to jump right into our story because I'm thinking that we will get to finish box turtle at Silver Pond Lane. Now, I have a question. Box turtles were what? Do you remember? I know we're talking about amphibians this week, but are these guys the amphibians? Do you remember what are the things that made amphibians special? Do they have eyes on top? Can you see? Oh no, they don't look like they stick up. So, hmm. And I wonder, do you think that they had wet slimy skin or what do we remember about the turtle? What did the turtle have on its body. Remember it felt like your fingernails? Scales! Scales and shed skin. So turtles are reptiles, not amphibians. But alas, we still had to finish the story. So reptile book, amphibian fun. So let's see what happens to the box turtle. Let's see, we were at the point where the boy and his father were shining their light down the trail. Let's see what happens. Box turtle hears the murmur of voices. Small beams of light dance over the flower bed as the voices get louder. Box turtle does not move. She stays hidden inside her protective shell. Soon the humans pass by. Whew, they are simply out for a walk and stop to admire the flowers in the moonlight. Ooh, so it looks like box turtle starting to peer out from inside her shell just as the boy and his father walk off. Box turtle waits until it grows quiet again. Slowly, she pokes her head out of her shell and looks around. When she is satisfied that she is alone, she resumes her digging. Soon, the nest chamber is as deep as box turtle's legs will extend. Then one by one, she lays four eggs using her feet to adjust their position. The eggs are smooth and as white as the full moon overhead. Do you see box turtle putting her eggs in the nest? Do you see it? Whoa, look at that. With the last egg laid, Box turtle begins to fill the nest chamber with soil. Her hind legs pull and scrape the soil into the hole. Then she compacts the soil with her legs and the underside of her shell. She covers her eggs carefully to keep them safe from hungry raccoons, opossums, and other predators. For box turtle will not be here later in the summer when her hatchlings are born. She has finished her job as mother tonight. There she is, looking proud as ever. Whew. Digging her nest was hard work. Box Turtle is tired. The moon shines high and bright as she leaves her nest and heads back to the woods. By now the pond is still. The old stone house on Silver Pond Lane is dark and quiet. Box Turtle crosses back over the road, plods across the yard and into the woods. At last, she settles down under the white summer moon and sleeps. There she is. Job well done, box turtle. And that's the end of our story. Now, we are going to jump right into our special guest visitor. I can't promise you, though, that this visitor is going to be any less crazy than our visitors yesterday. So, without further adieu. Let's bring out our guest. And we're going to cross our fingers and we're going to cross our toes and we're going to hope that they stay still enough for us to see them for a little bit. Let's see. This one is, if you can believe it, possibly even more jumpy than yesterday. So let's do our precaution of spraying our hands wet because they have what kind of skin do you remember amphibians have wet and slimy skin so we're gonna get nice and wet and slimy so we can keep this amphibian safe let's see 
We're gonna hope he stays still. Oh, already not. Oh, so already not. I may have to hold her legs to help her stay still. Okay, 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 okay. You see her? This is another tree frog, but a different tree frog than we saw yesterday. This special kind of tree frog is called a Cuban tree frog from Cuba. Now, if you go down south near Florida, you might see these guys down there. But like those red-eared sliders that we saw, they're not supposed to be there. They, they sometimes escape and go, <laughs> I'm going to end up with them on my face. And they end up in Florida, maybe they came on uh, on a boat that was carrying some plants for a plant store, I told you. Where is he? There he is. I'll let him stay there for a second. Um, oh. Okay. <laughs> and they find their way into Florida and they live there, but they're not supposed to be there, but they're pretty cool. And they have some really great camouflage. Do you see how well that their skin might blend in to the bark on a tree? Yeah, that very much helps to keep them safe and protected from any predators that might eat them or to blend in so what they might eat might not ah, see them. So I'm not going to hold this guy out too long because I want to do more about what makes our amphibians high, our amphibians special. Now this guy's getting kind of old. I've had him for many, many years. In fact, he's getting like like old man eyes. I don't know if you can see his one eye is starting to have little cataracts in it and he can't see very well. But... Nevertheless, he is an amphibian and he's got what? Look at those big eyes on top. You see him right there? One, just like me. Two eyes on top. So amphibians have eyes on top and they have wet, slimy skin. You can kind of see the shine on his skin. Now, we're gonna move on to a third thing that makes amphibians special. And believe it or not, it's how they breathe. You can kind of see him breathing a little bit. You see him? Yeah, so he does have little little nostrils to breathe from, but amphibians also absorb and breathe things right through their skin. Yeah, amphibians breathe through skin. So amphibians have eyes on top, amphibians have wet, slimy skin, and amphibians breathe through skin. Now this guy's looking like he's getting ready to jump, 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 so I'm gonna put him away and we're gonna become a little bit more of amphibians. We'll bring him back out, I promise. <laughs> I promise. But to help us remember, we're gonna become a little bit more of amphibians. So I said amphibians breathe through their skin. So I have some special amphibian skin that I am going to put on. And if you look carefully, look, I can see through it. Oh, I don't know if you can see me. So this is the amphibian skin. Look, you can see through it. You can see my Star Wars short. May the force be with you. So amphibians can also breathe and absorb things through their skin. Now, when they're wet and slimy, that kind of helps to keep their skin nice and moist and protect them from anything that might get inside their skin, get inside when they breathe. In fact, I like to say that amphibians are kind of like superheroes because if you see amphibians in a pond or a vernal pool or maybe near a stream or other body of water, that tells you that that body of water is super healthy. So the more amphibians you see, the more healthy the water is. That's why I call them superheroes. They kind of, I always like to say it's almost like Batman shooting the bat symbol. Yeah. Yeah, it tells you that they're there to protect it. Well, when you see amphibians, they're kind of like the bat symbol for that body of water saying, it's really safe here and it's really clean. Because if it weren't, and there were a lot of like, a lot of trash things in the water, they might breathe some of that, some of that yucky pollution from the water into their skin. So they might they might absorb things like, I don't know if you have a lot of your suntan lotion on that gets into water or bug spray that might get into water. They might absorb or breathe it through their skin and that's not good. So we want to always make sure, especially for holding amphibians, that we put a nice protective layer of water on our skin. Or sometimes if I see an amphibian in the wild, I get my hands all dirty. I kind of put on like dirt gloves first and then I hold them so I can always keep their skin protected. So whew, that was a lot. 
And that was really challenging too. So let's remember three things so far. So amphibians have eyes on top. Amphibians have wet, slimy skin. And amphibians, they breathe through skin. Pretty cool, huh? Now, I always like to bring these when I turn into amphibians. Now, not all amphibians have them, but they're fun nonetheless to show you. Because a lot of amphibians that love to be near the water, they have very special, sometimes webbed feet. So I always love to put these on too. What do you think? So there's one more thing. We're gonna focus on four things. Eyes on top, wet slimy skin, and freeze through skin. But there's one more thing that's really cool about all amphibians. And it's about how they grow from a baby amphibian to a grown-up amphibian. Do you know what it is? They change. Yeah. What is a baby amphibian or a baby frog called? A tadpole. A tadpole like this guy here. See this little tadpole? Yeah. But do they always look like this? No. They're going to change. They're going to go through metamorphosis. You do that with me? Metamorphosis. That's the fourth thing, metamorphosis. Yeah, so once they're done being a tadpole, they're gonna grow boop, 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 two little back legs. And then they're gonna start to grow two little front legs. Let's see if I can find this little front leg. It's hot in here. Oh, there we go. And they're starting to look more like a little frog. And then they're gonna start to look even more like a little frog. But they're still gonna have their little tail on the back here. See their little tail? There it is. Beep, 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 beep. But then soon that tail's gonna absorb inside their body. And they're gonna be like a full grown frog. Yeah, it's kind of a funny looking smooshed frog, but it's a frog nonetheless. And then they'll come out of the water, take their first breath of air, and then they can hop around. And if it's like a toad, they might hop around in the forest. Or if it's a frog that lives near water, they're going to hop around in the water. Or like our tree frogs, they're going to start to hop up the trees, but they go through metamorphosis. So let's see. One more time. I got it in different ways to show you too. So they'll start off as slimy, slimy eggs. That's another special thing about amphibians. Slimy, slimy eggs. And then they're going to be a tadpole. Beep, 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 beep. And then they're going to start to grow. Let's see if I can find the next step in my metamorphosis. They're going to start to grow back legs. Burp, burp, burp. And then front legs. Beep, boop, boop. And then they're going to start to look like a whole little frog and absorb their little tail back up. Yeah, just like this guy here, look here. Absorb their little tail. He looks like a frog with just a silly tail. And then they become a full grown frog. Metamorphosis! So let's see. We know four things now, and that's crazy, and that's a lot. So we're gonna end, whoa, I left the frog under the couch. We're gonna end with that song, and then when we're done, I'm gonna bring our amphibian back out one more time so that we can say goodnight, so we can be a little silly before we go. Are you ready? It goes like this. Amphibians have eyes on top, eyes on top, eyes on top. Amphibians have eyes on top and wet, slimy skin. <laughs> Amphibians, they breathe through skin, breathe through skin, breathe through skin. Amphibians, they breathe through skin and go through metamorphosis. Whew. That was tough. That was a lot tonight. I don't know about you, but I'm getting kind of tired. But I'll tell you what. We'll continue our journey with amphibians this week so that we can really get to know the song and those four cool and crazy things about amphibians. But I think it's getting time to say goodbye to our amphibian, our Cuban tree frog. Let's see if he cooperates. There he is. There he is one more time. Whoa. <laughs> 
there he is. And are you ready to say good night, Cuban tree frog? Good night, amphibian. Good night. I know I see you. Let's see. Ready? Bye, everyone.